Beautiful Essentials here. So for today's video, I'm going to be making use of empty plastic bottles to decorate an empty wall that I have at home. I got my inspiration from this beautiful wall panel that I've had my eyes on for a while. So I challenged myself to make something similar to cover up a little wall space that I have at home. I'll be taking off the top and the bottom part of the bottle. For this project, you can either use an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. The next thing I'll do is cut what I have into two. doing this to a lot of empty plastic bottles that I have at home and these are the pieces so what I'm gonna do next is cut off the four sides of each of the pieces this is the shape that I want for my project and the inside is smooth now the plastic wrap that's at the back won't be a bother because I won't be needing that part now what I'm gonna do like I said earlier is cut out the four sides of each of the pieces. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm cutting out the shape like this because it's really important for me to have a curved shape for my design. I'll keep these aside and then cut out shapes from paper plates. I wanted square plates because I need the squared edges to be part of the design, but I couldn't find perfectly squared plates in the store. So what I'm going to do now is use a pair of scissors to cut out the plates to give me something close to a square. I just feel the pointy edges will make the design look much better. The plates need to be deep enough so that the back is high because that is really important for this project. What I'm going to do now is draw the shape that I like to cut out from the plate. glue the plastic pieces to the plate. This part here is what's going to show. Now this is the back and this is the front because it's curved on the inside. So this is how it's supposed to be. So when you turn it to the back, I'm going to flip it over and glue it this way. You will notice that the tips at both ends of the plastic is up. That's because it's not possible to have them go down and for the plate to remain balanced. So it's open 
and that won't be a problem because it's flushed with the plate. So when you put the plate over to sit on a flat surface, it's going to be flushed with its two ends here, like this. While doing this, it is really important to remember that the back has to have a deep curve. Remember, these two sides have to be flush to the pointy ends of the square. And it has to have a deep curve. I made a lot of these. Now I'll be starting off with just four to make a pattern with them. I'll be building my design on foam boards held together with tape. a lot easier to do this in small sections make it easy to mount it on the wall so now I have four squares here four squares here and at the bottom I have a square that's been formed somewhere in the middle I'm gonna continue in this pattern till I get to the end more so I'm gonna add another foam board at the bottom this is what it looks like so now I'm gonna take it out and spray paint it silver I mounted it with command strips. I used it to cover up a wall that's at the corner that's bare just to see if I was gonna like it first before I make more. I wasn't 100% satisfied with this because it did not look like the inspiration picture, but I want to let you guys know that I used disposable plates as another option to see if it was gonna look better. But it was okay, but the hot glue kept burning the plate, so that was not gonna work. Now initially, this was a Dollar Tree plate that I intended to use because it has a perfect squared shape for the project. But I went to the Dollar Tree and they don't have these plates anymore. So I had to go to Walmart to get something square. And this was the only thing that I got close to what I wanted. But now you know that with plastic bottles and paper plates, you can cover up a bare wall. Now I'd like to show you guys something else I made for wall coverings using cereal boxes and poster boards. The link to this video will be in the description box below. Here's another one I did again using paper plates. And the link for this video will also be in the description box below. The one I made for today's video is completely different. And yes, it takes a lot of time to make, so you're gonna either want to be watching a movie while doing this, or it can be done with friends and families to distribute the workload. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I have other DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Bye!